R slash off my chest. Acrobatic Ranger 9193 says. I'm really tired of my girlfriend hitting me. My girlfriend slaps me in the face. Honestly it's nothing to my ego, it just hurts. She does it so hard I can't even explain. It literally gives me a headache sometimes. I'm actually so afraid to make her angry because of it. She looks for any reason to hit me. Like I forgot a bag of groceries in the car yesterday, and I had to throw it out, so that gave her the reason to yell, and slap and kick etc. Trying to block her is a huge mistake, because it just makes her more angry, and she says, don't raise your hand to me, and in the end she makes me hold still, and then she hits me even more. And I think she enjoys it honestly, because she laughs, when I flinch sometimes. I flinch a lot of course, even if she isn't hitting me at the moment. She slips up sometimes, and smiles at the wrong time, when she's supposed to be angry. I know it's weird to say this, but I honestly don't think I could fight back against her. I wouldn't have the emotional strength to do it. Not that I want to do it anyway, but it's just a realization I had recently. Of course I should leave, but again I have no emotional strength. I'm just stuck. Life sucks. Thanks for listening. Nedhi24 says. This is abuse. There's no words to describe this better than abuse. Bidesley says. It really is. You deserve better than this. Please consider reaching out for help no one should live in fear like that. Liquor and popular girl, S94 says. Extremely vicious abuse. Op there's a person out there who would treat you with gentle kindness. Careless process 594 says. You're being abused buddy. Bidesley says. It's not just physical, it's emotional abuse too. You deserve better. Miss Mayas says. It can be so hard to leave it can be so hard to take. Action when you are knee deep in those situations. But wake up this is abuse. Tall a trusted friend, seek help. It's gonna do wonders to your life once you are out. Praying for you to get the strength to leave. Acrobatic Ranger 9193 says. Thanks a lot to you and everyone else. I know it's abuse regardless of gender. I knew that for a long time, but it's still hard to end it. I admit I still have feelings for her, but I hate the relationship at the same time, but it's so complicated regardless. Like one thing I didn't talk about is that I actually work for her dad and work with a lot of her other family at that job, so it's gonna completely turn everything upside down to end it. I feel stuck in other ways too, but I don't even know where to start, but she has a lot of control in my life I realized. The whole thing is just scary to think about. Thinking about how angry she'll be, and what she'll do. I also worry she's gonna call the cops and accuse me of something, just because she's always using that kind of language with me, saying stuff like, don't raise your hand to me, when I try to block her, or saying you're giving me an angry look, don't try to intimidate me like literally, while she's hitting me. It's so weird, but I feel like something really bad is coming if I leave. I just have a lot to think about, but thank you all. I was not expecting this many responses or I would have explained everything better. R slash off my chest. Greedy picture 4281 says. I'm a straight man who would like to have a platonic life partner. I currently am in my third serious romantic relationship with a woman. The first was in high school, the second in college, and the third and current in my mid slash late twenties. The first two were clearly not healthy relationships, but after a multi-year break from relationships, I got on dating apps looking for a serious relationship and found one. She is clearly a much better partner than my other girlfriends, but I still can't help but feel that this is not fulfilling me in the way I was hoping. A couple of years ago, one of my best friends from high school, a gay woman, moved into my house as a roommate. It was the best time. I honestly think that a large chunk of the time we lived together was the best time of my life. 
she lived with me for a year before deciding to move out to live with her cat. She was not able to live with the cat when she lived with me because I'm allergic. Shortly after she moved out, I got on dating apps and took them very seriously. I was lonely not living with my friend and thought a girlfriend would be a good way to remedy this. I said I was looking only for a long term relationship and had some things in my bio that were quite specific to narrow down to just people I thought I could really build a life with. This included saying what specific city I wanted to live in and my desire to not have children. It took 3 dates to find my current girlfriend. Things are going pretty well in the relationship and I honestly don't think I would be able to find a better romantic partner for myself. She is exactly the person I asked for. However, I often find the relationship to be emotionally draining. We have minor conflicts with some degree of frequency, but these things are usually solved quickly and without making the conflict blow up. A couple of times we have had bigger fights, but have always found a way to make up. I think a lot of these conflicts stem from me being an optimistic nihilist, which is a fancy way of saying I find joy in things not having inherent meaning to them. I find the stakes of almost everything to be very low. Relationships seem to artificially increase how important things are, and that's just not something I like. Overall, this is a good romantic relationship, but I can't help but think about my time living with my friend. I can't think of a single time we really had any meaningful conflicts between us. I feel like I'm more suited to be a good friend than I'm a good boyfriend. However, I'm worried to act on this in any way. First, I do not want to be alone and can recognize that being in this relationship will quite likely make me happier than being alone. Modern. Life often caters to families instead of single people. Second, I do not know how I would find a platonic life partner. Not only is there not a lot of infrastructure to find them, i.e. dating apps, mixers, etc, but not many people even think if this is an option. As a straight man, I think this search would be even more difficult, as women of any sexuality would likely be hesitant to believe that someone like me could really go without sex in a life partnership, for understandable reasons, this is not a rant against women. I just really wish that platonic life partnerships were more common and understood than they were. I truly think I would be be happiest in that kind of. Pika Keen says. Do you even like your girlfriend? Your post doesn't read as if you have any sentiment toward her at all. It seems like you're a romantic, which is absolutely fine, but it's not kind to let her keep believing you have feelings for her if you don't. As far as a fear of being alone, consider making more friends and reaching out to the ones you already have. Honestly the expectation that one person should be supplying all your support is not in line with human nature. We are meant to function in communities, helping each other as we are helped. Sassifa Sasquatch says. Try looking around for asexual communities. Heart According 5241 says. The reason you and your friend didn't fight cause you wasn't dating sorry, but fighting is a natural thing in a relationship it's how you decide to work through them together. Nage says. TBH in either case, the first thing you should do is split with your current girlfriend. Seems fairly clear having read your post. Throra 1,874,637 says. So what you're saying is you want to dump your girlfriend and find someone platonic to live with. You might as well follow what you want. If you're miserable then just bite the bullet and do what you want. Put out ads, move in another friend, or look for asexual people. However, there is extreme difficulty in finding a platonic life partner. They will not be there for you like a romantic one. They will not cover you in times of need. I personally like the idea of someone taking care of me in my time of need, and that bond is a requirement for me, though you seem to have different desires. You have to decide whether this is a fantasy or something you want to pursue. If it is, please break up with your girlfriend as it would be wasting her time 
to string her along on a path you never intend to commit to. She probably wants to build a life with someone in a romantic sense, and your statements reveal you don't want that. Do you know if she wants kids, or has certain goals that may conflict? If you can't give her what she's seeking, don't lead her on. Let her go and find what you want or need. R slash off my chest. Love Dance Pro says. My husband's friend needed a place to stay for a week, and he got drunk and urinated on me. My husband's friend needed a place to stay for the week until he could move into his next apartment. When my husband came to me and asked me, I initially said no. This person is also drinks quite a bit. My husband accepted my answer. But one day, the three of us ended up going out to eat. He brought it up, and then I felt really bad, so I allowed him to stay. The first few days were fine. But every single day he stayed he ended up drinking more and more. I was annoyed, but I ignored it, because he's going to leave soon anyways. He was buying his own drinks. But the other night, he went into the fridge, and drank my wine and my husband's whiskey. My husband had only half of his one drink. His friend ended up going to bed first before my husband. Around 1.30 am. My husband came into bed with me, and went to sleep. Later on it was almost 3 in the morning. I woke up to my bedroom door opening. And he was just standing there over me. I sleep on the side of the bed closest to that door. I was already weirded out by this. Might I add, I've ate on my head during the daytime. I wasn't even dressed appropriately. I was already upset that he violated my space when I'm sleeping. I was half asleep, and I asked him. What are you doing? When I said this, my husband woke up. And he began to speak with him in his language until he left. He used the bathroom, and went back to his bed. I'm not processing what's going on because I'm still waking up. I was about to turn over to go back to sleep, until I realized my bed area was completely soaking wet. I showed my husband and I realized he urinated on me. My husband rightfully so was pissed. He brought his friend back into the room, and started yelling at him, showing him what he did. His friend was not even processing what my husband was saying to him. The next morning it was decided that we were going to buy a new mattress, and he was going to pay for it. The next day, my husband ripped him a new one. He said that he cannot drink in our house and he cannot return home to our house and intoxicated either. I came home later in the day. And stayed in my room the whole night. I did not even want to see his face. I feel disgusted, ashamed and violated. Primary Literature 8 says. Sweetie, if you pay bills in that house then, that place is your sanctuary, your refuge. You should never feel uncomfortable in a house you contribute to whether it's financial emotional, etc. Tell your husband you are uncomfortable with him staying with you, and tell him that he needs to go. Preferably have your husband tell him that he needs to go. If your husband isn't on board, kick both of vapor C cells to the curb. No one should be violated, or even feel violated in their home. Protect your peace op. Love Dance Pro says. My husband 100% has my back. His friend has been sleeping in his car for the past couple days. Primary Literature 8 says. Thank the Lord Dop, Loki was worried, since some of these spouses on did become a handful. Glad your husband is a rock behind you, may I ask, is a car outside the house? If not, possible to get through this situation baby is going to be therapy that way you can have an honest space and great feedback and tips, to help you get over this. But Turfla Destiny says. Based on your comments, that the friend is now staying in his car, tell him that he needs to stay off of your property. That is low, and disgusting and he has no respect. Has he even offered you an apology? Love Dance Pro says. He's very remorseful, but I don't want to see his face. Surfing, Cheese77 says. 
Growing up my best friend's father was a blackout alcoholic like this. He would not know where he was, and he would walk down the hallway pissing all over the place, or piss in the closet thinking he was in the bathroom. This man needs serious, frick, I'm help he is a full blown alcoholic and it's not going to get better. Good luck and be safe. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.